How was he not able to walk with the God the way he did? Well, because Jesus um, made a way before the foundation of the world for us to have a relationship with him. When Adam chose to walk in independence, not everyone chose to walk in the same way. And God was speaking to people in that day. Most people were not listening to him. Um, now, Enoch was one that did listen to God and was able to walk with him in the spirit because the pathway, I think a lot of people think the path to the tree of life was blocked by the angels. They guarded that way so people couldn't walk on it. But actually, that's not true. They were just there to help guide those people who chose to walk on that path to be able to access through the fire. And most people didn't want to go through the fire. So the fire is always symbolic of refining and purification. So if people chose to go through the fire of that refining process, then they had access to God uh, even back then. But Enoch chose to go through the fiery sword path and therefore was able to walk in the realms of heaven, walk with God, walk in the cosmos, and had a very... Uh, clear destiny in doing that now some of um, what Enoch did was very specific to him and his destiny but is an example of a you don't need to die to be able to function in heaven and on earth um, in that way because he was functioning that way before he went into heaven didn't come back um, and now is operating in that realm and seems to have quite a lot to do with uh, people particularly in destiny for people i've engaged in up a number of times where he's directed me to a task or a quest or something that that he led me to so you know uh, the relationship um that moses had the 70 elders had when they went into the realms of heaven when they went up the mountain and access is because again they went through the fire of god's presence on the top of the mountain so they chose to go through the fire and not avoid the fire. Obviously, the people of the children of Israel, they sent Moses and the 70 elders on their behalf. They didn't go. You know, so they avoided the fire by sending a mediator. And that's what the sacrificial system of offerings was all about, is a mediation system that required a priest for them. So they didn't have to do it themselves. But Moses did have access and everyone can could have access if they were willing to go through the fire which in one sense was symbolic of uh, going through jesus before the cross um, now before the cross um, everyone was dead in adam but by going through the fire and engaging that process they they could have their spirits that were able to access that presence so Enoch was one, Elijah was another, um, who had a, a relationship with God and the spirit of prophecy was upon him. And of course that uh, enabled him to go into the realm of heaven. But he went through a process of um, engaging God in this realm before he went into that realm. Now, not every encounter is one that uh, we could say is just gonna happen to everybody. But I do believe that we have life and immortality to light. And if we were to finish whatever our mandate was here, then we could go to that realm without dying. So before the cross, everyone's spirit was actually in, as it's described as in death, all died in Adam. Therefore, their spirit was separate was disconnected from their soul and god um, in a way which was not true before that happened so what was before the spirit clothed their body and soul and therefore they did have access into both realms adam walked with god in the in the realms of eden and adam and that god walked with adam in the garden east of eden on the earth but heaven and earth were in a different relationship than they are now so a lot happened and a lot changed in that relationship and the spirit internalized from clothing their body and God gave them actual skins to clothe their body. Um, and so everything was different from that perspective. 
If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.